Stop living in this land. Go to the everlasting world of happiness. Live there forever. Number one bestseller on Amazon and won multiple awards. How to have a meeting with God, Buddha, Allah. Number one Wall Street Journal bestseller. Number one Amazon bestseller in religion and spirituality, politics and social sciences, and philosophy. Number one Barnes and Nobles bestseller. USA Today bestseller. Where you become true is the place of truth. Also won awards for its profound content. The following video, based on the content of these bestseller books, explains in detail the complete solutions to the questions and goals that people have not been able to solve or achieve. Find answers within. One of the most interesting lectures when I studied philosophy was on truth. I'm curious to know what is truth exactly? What is truth? We learned at school that truth is an eternal and unchanging existence. I tell people that truth is not only eternal and unchanging, but it is also a living existence. We learned as truth the fact that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. However, it is not truth because both the sun and the earth will eventually disappear. Only the existence that has neither a beginning nor an end, and only the existence that never changes, is truth. People cannot see this existence and cannot find this existence even if they try for an eternity. This is because people live inside their own mind worlds. That is why they cannot see nor find what belongs to the real world. I cannot draw this existence, but let me express it by drawing like this. Let's say this is the truth. So this existence in Christianity, the existence of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Father, that is God is truth. Holy Spirit, Holy Father. And in Buddhism, they call this existence of the truth Buddha, which is the Dharmakaya and Sambhavakaya. And in Islam, they call this existence of truth Allah. Although it's different names, it all means the same thing, the truth. And in the ideology of a Korean folk religion, they call it Hanonim, which is the Jung, which is the spirit, and Shin, which is the soul. Jung, which is the spirit, and Shin, which is the soul. Even leaders of those religions said that no one has ever seen this existence. God, Buddha, and Allah, which are the truth, are the emptiness of this universe itself. The spirit and soul exist in this emptiness. The emptiness of this universe is the existence of the spirit. And the soul exists as the one God in that emptiness. This existence is omnipresent in the universe and is the existence that is always alive. This existence created all creations in this world. Buddhism says that things came forth from the earth, water, fire, and wind. And according to a Korean folk religion, Hanonim and everything emerged through the harmony of the sky and the earth. These sayings all mean the same thing, even though they are expressed a little differently. All the creations in this world come from the emptiness of the universe, they come from there and return there. People can see and know this existence when they have it within their minds. But because people live inside their mind worlds, which overlap the world, this is why people can neither see nor know this existence. 
This is because the world is not within their minds. If one's karma, habits, and body did not exist, there will be nothing in this world. Without people, there would not be any other creations in this world either, and there would be nothing. One can see the spirit and soul of the universe, which are the existence of truth, when oneself does not exist, and when only the universe emptiness remains. You can see and know this existence when it exists within you. Then, when your mind becomes the spirit and soul of the universe, the masters of the world will create you anew from there. Following this, the new heaven, the new earth, and this world are born again as the never-dying truth inside your mind that has become truth. When this world is born from the mind of a person who has been reborn, it is truth. As the human mind world is false, a person can neither see nor know this existence truth. When you discard this falseness, the mind becomes real. And when you are reborn from that mind, you can know that the entire true world exists within you.